28th was the king of England from 22nd April 1509 until his death in 1547. He was quite the king and is best known for his six marriages. What are these six marriages? And let's learn more about these six marriages in the upcoming video. So starting in this with this one, one thing you should know is that King Henry VIII wasn't supposed to be the king. The author, Prince of Wales, should have been the actual king, but he had died from a disease. So the spare became the heir. First, Catherine of Aragon. Catherine of Aragon was actually meant to marry Otto, Prince of Wales, um, Henry VIII's brother. But Otto, Prince of Wales, had died. Otto, Prince of Wales, was actually the first heir, as I said. Otto, Prince of Wales, was actually the first heir. Um, Henry VIII um, wasn't the first heir at all. Otto was the heir. But again, um, because of Otto's death, the marriage ended there. But Catherine of Aragon was actually from Spain, and it was actually a marriage alliance from Spain to England that was actually a marriage alliance, and that marriage needed to stay in order in order to keep the peace treaty between both Spain and England. So what happened is uh, Catherine faces faces some money troubles and her arrangements to marry Prince Henry were still unclear and after uh, Henry VII's death, the father of Henry VIII and out of Prince of Wales, he died and his last wish was for Henry VIII to marry Catherine of Aragon. So the thing was, so in order to fulfill his father's death wish, she, he had to marry her but, still, but he could still deny to marry her and marry another girl but the thing what happened is he was in love with her and of course it's bad to love your um, brother's widow and it's bad to marry your brother's widow but who cares he's the king he can make all rules up he's, he can do anything so after a short while um, Catherine has just lost the son yeah Catherine's sons died so there was no male heir after a while she got pregnant again and Henry was uh, King Henry was quite excited for a male heir but it turned out it, it, it wasn't a male heir it was a girl a Mary um, Princess Mary the first and later to be Queen Mary the first but Catherine was heartbroken and Henry started um, to fall in love with Annie Brooklyn and Henry wants to make it male heir really badly. Henry wants a male heir very very badly and that soon that was a very much of a big advantage for Annie. So she used that advantage and asked Henry to get a divorce with Catherine and marry her. The thing which happened is Annie wanted them both to get divorced and for King Henry VIII to marry her. So the thing was he proclaimed King Henry VIII to Catherine of Aragon that he wanted a divorce but completely heartbroken and he didn't want to divorce after a few trials. Actually the thing is Henry VIII in one of these trials he was that um, she was actually And that was then. And 
The next one is Annie Brooklyn. And after Catherine of Aragon came Annie, she became the queen and after that they partied and they partied and they partied in Bond. And if a, a while after that, Annie became pregnant four times but she wasn't able to produce a male heir. However, she was able to produce a female heir who was also known would also be later known as Elizabeth the First. After that, she was also gossiping behind the king's back. Well, Henry VIII came to Henry VIII's ear that she was gossiping behind his back and it kind of angered him. After that, one of his most trusted men, Thomas, came and said that she was cheating on him with a musician. And after that, he and his men went to ask, well, more like torture the musician. And after that, he definitely was proven as guilty. And after that, he went to see, well, kind of see, and he, and after that, we, after he met with Queen Annie, the thing was, she said, you're going to divorce me, aren't you? Well, her fate was worst. She was killed. She was beheaded.